are the threats. Fully armed and ready, the Deep Space Vanguard land on Valaka to set up a base and retake the planet's abandoned colony. Right, so I wanted to know more about this game, and right now it seems to be a bit empty, but Demon Squad seems to need a medic, so we're gonna pop in as the medic, and as you've seen, I've touched a little bit on the game so far. We're gonna keep playing as a medic, see if we have any perks. And the guy runs out of my healing ring the moment I put it down. At any rate, between the fact that uh, we got like Helldivers and Space Marine 2, uh, we got an actual Honest to God Starship Troopers game based on the movies. Mm, this is it, and it's been out for a while. Uh, hasn't really caught my attention until this moment though for a number of reasons. And if I stop talking it's because there's a lot ton of bugs! One thing I can tell you about it, it's not a good idea to stray from your squad. Being alone in this game is a death sentence. That's also why the different classes is also pretty nice, especially when you, like me, can play a medic. And now they're dropping down a bunker for us to rearm and resupply at. And that also means the arachnid threat is increasing. As you can see, our troop count is increasing steadily. We now have 14 Vanguard troopers on the field. Attention! Elevated arachnid threat levels have been detected. Salvageable field power generators have been detected. Move out and secure the generators. Everyone starts out with the same Merida, but once you have leveled a bit with uh, everything, you can uh, get more guns and equipment for your specific class. So far, the Heavy Ordnance classes seems to be the most popular ones. Uh, we're gonna try and stay closer to our friends here. I've already spent one round not staying with my team, and I know where that's gonna end up. Just like they say in the movie, you have to aim for the nerve stem of the warriors, and it's fairly easy to waste ammunition. And it's also very, very bad to do so, because the moment you start wasting ammunition, that's the moment you stop aiming. These things are not sustainable to fire in uh, for a duration. You need to be careful about what you shoot. Especially when the friendly troops end up in your line of fire. I don't think friendly fire is on, but I do not know. There's also a very impressive component in fact that there is base building. Our squad is fairly spread out, but... Oh, fuck. We dropped into Bugtown. I think we only have one medic drone. I don't know where the others went. I can't repair it. God damn it. But oh yeah, we have this stim pistol. I don't know if it heals people or if it buffs them. I'll 
suppose I'll find out one way or another. Field power generators at max. Loaded up with the payload. Vulture one on the way. Clear the drop zone. Payload is on the ground. Vulture one is returning to the girth. Also, that was the first aid sim, so now we are set in that regard, too. We'll see what the next orders are gonna be. Arachnid threat levels have increased. Signal booster location verified. Yeah, the uh, mission objectives are definitely uh, dynamic, so getting the same map doesn't necessarily mean you're doing the same thing. Also, fuck me. Yeah, that's how quick you can die in this thing. Fortunately, I had some brother medics to help me out on that score. And the arachnids are fairly silent as well. They, they can sneak up on you. I wonder if that's what the drones are actually for. Big bug. Let's see if we need to cover our men. No, they seem to have gotten out of there just fine. The game is remarkably similar to the first-person Starship Troopers game that was released in like 2000... I don't know, somewhere in the 2000s it was released. And many of the concepts seem taken from that game. And uh, I think that's actually the nice and right approach with most of the popular horde mode games nowadays being either he you got Hell Divers, which is essentially just four people, or you got Space Marine, and that's uh, first. That's not first person. Empire, mobile HQ is transmitting, and we have a fix on your location. Arc is en route. This is Vulture 1. I have a lock on your base location. Inbound with the payload. Clear the drop zone. So, uh, yeah. Payload has been delivered. Brimstone 1, have the arc. Vulture 1, returning to base. Once we have placed the blueprint for the tower, we need to switch to the repair beam, and that'll start assembling the tower. Of course, no uh, tower in this uh, title is complete if we don't have... We're gonna sw switch mode again, and we are gonna play... It's down one of these things. And as you can see, this thing is going to have limited ammunition. It's just going to have 300 rounds. We can swivel it around, no problem. We we can swivel it to the point where we want it to be. But right now we actually built it outside the walls. 
Uh, this space is going to be very tricky to defend because we just wasted building a tower right out of the walls and the horde will arrive in 45 seconds. So I'm very happy we didn't stand in that tower, but Rover is now heading towards the real base. Arc activation beginning in 30 seconds. Uh, we're out of we're out of those. Uh, let's see if we can put down another tower he right here. Yes, that we can do. Arc slam incoming in ten seconds. We can also stop building shit, which is kind of interesting. Like here, I realized there was already a tower there. I wanted to remove it. We good. Defend yourself. Arc has been fired. Data from the seismic pulse looks good. Expect and here comes the horde. ETA now. Something that's very fucking cool about the horde is that not only are there many of them and they feel genuinely terrifying, even when you're like 16 troopers, like you are here, uh, they will. And I say will climb the corpses of their friends in order to um, get one on you. They will climb the walls on the corpses of their fallen, which is such a nice touch that they that they won't just jump the walls or something like that. Sure, they have other bug types that will try to rip down your base. Let's s send him a medic drone. I think he got a healing. But yeah, as you can see, the moment you let her rip rather than aim for the nerve stem, that's when you start wasting ammo. And with so many enemies like here, you can't waste ammo. Wasting ammo is that de highly detrimental to your success. You can also build automatic sentries that will essentially shoot bugs on their own. But the key, the key component to all of those things are that. Uh, Stationary turrets require ammunition, and uh, you can't just blast away with them. Not without reloading them. And that's basically what this little thing is all about. Running low here. We need to check where our nearest resupply station might be. And we fell down. We lost the outer wall. Troopers are now in the inner wall. And this is also a very cool concept, like uh, troopers that will build multi-layer defenses that you can uh, fall back from. That's really fucking cool. Taking bug plasma. Good 
The bug is big. To quote Starship Troopers 3. Yeah, extraction is another uh, another thing, right? Yeah, we'll see if we can help that guy out. That's what we can. Yeah, so when the call retrieval call comes, uh, respawning is uh, essentially disabled and you need to get to the ship. As you might expect, this is harder than it looks. Yeah, fortunately I seem to be able to revive myself, which is not nice, but I do still don't have any ammo. Yeah, I'm, I'm done for. Uh, without revival, I'm going to be bug baked. We almost made it. Let's see how the rest of the squad is doing. Well, our squad leader is basically in the ship. I'm dead. Uh, squad mate dead. A couple of rangers seems to be able to make it, at least. So, uh, these, these troops should be the last ones to ex extract. Like I said, you need to stick as a team here. You can't just... You can't just uh, stand on your own, because if you do, you die. Especially in this phase. Well, we took about one third casualties, but um, yeah, we uh, completed the mission at the very least. Next time we might e even extract with the other ones. We got some uh, wonderful progression out of it, so we are now rank 4. Let's see what we got for our medic. For our medic we got the E-Pulse Pistol A1. And uh, if we just keep this up, we will hopefully gain some other nice stuff for our little medic here. And uh, yeah, I'm probably going to keep playing this uh, at least a little bit. And as far as I know, there's also a single player campaign coming out fairly soon, which is actually what piqued my interest in the first place. But yeah, for like 25 euros, that's the pre-order price uh, or our early access price. Not a bad title, honestly.